Tonight we take you to Northside Independent School District. That's where some parents are upset they were not told of an investigation involving a high school teacher charged with the sex crimes involving a child. News for San Antonio's Chelsea Torres joins us live after speaking to parents and the district about these concerns. Chelsea, good evening. Hi, Jonathan. You know, we're talking about an English teacher at O'Connor High School on the city's northwest in Holotus. Now, in court documents, we have learned the teacher was sentenced in February and is serving time in prison, but Northside parents have yet to be notified from the district. In September, David Eric Vetters, an O'Connor High School English teacher, was arrested on charges of coercion and enticement of a child. And as parents, we didn't really have the opportunity to try to discuss this with them because we weren't made aware. O'Connor High School mom Juanita Ortega says she found out about the investigation on social media. Her children had Vetters as a teacher. They have the responsibility to provide us the information that we need in order to allow our children to be safe and to feel safe. A criminal complaint affidavit says Vetters had sexually explicit photos of his students on his phone, but investigators with the U.S. Attorney's Office say no students were identified as being victims. At no time was Northside ISD made aware by the FBI of the involvement of any O'Connor or NISD students, whether it was in video or photograph form. Ortega and other parents believe this is still reason to be concerned. The parents are asking, is he going to be allowed to teach again? We obviously would not feel comfortable with him, you know, teaching other students or being uh, left alone with other other children. Will he ever be able to work as a teacher again? Uh, I can I can tell you in Northside, absolutely not. Under TEA guidelines, vetters would not be eligible to teach at any Texas institution. Now in February, vetters was sentenced to just under 11 years. He will be supervised by a probation officer for 25 years after a sentence. Now, we also spoke to a child advocate agency, Child Safe, who says this is the second year in a row they've seen an increase in child sexual abuse. You can find advice and tips on how to speak to your child on our website, news4sa.com. Chelsea Torres, News 4, San Antonio. Chelsea, thank you so much for that. Do you have an issue impacting your school district that you'd like us to look into? If so, be sure to call our crisis in the classroom. Classroom tip line at 210 366 1151.